Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a story time and tell a story from this week that had a really positive ending but was extremely stressful while it was actually happening. If you've seen some of my recent videos, you probably know that I've been advocating for a Measure B reallocation, which was a transit sales tax in my area that passed in 2016. I've been working with a bunch of people from the community to try to get funds shifted from highway projects that increase pollution to transit operations to improve bus service. The Supervisor Chavez, who's now the chair of the VTA board, and Supervisor Cortesi, who's also on the VTA board, have both been supporting this and have been helping us with it. Supervisor Chavez sent a referral for it in October, and Supervisor Cortesi sent a referral to have VTA declare a climate emergency in December as kind of a way to make people more open to the reallocation idea. Some of you might have seen this on Twitter, but on New Year's Eve, I was checking the agenda for the first San Jose City Council meeting of the year, and I found this memo that was signed by four council members asking San Jose City Council to block the reallocation, to block what we've been trying to do before there's even a vote on it. I'll link the memo down below so that you can read it if you haven't already, but there's definitely some misinformation in there. They were claiming that we were trying to take money from road maintenance, which we aren't, and they're acting like shifting funds goes against the will of voters, even though the ballot measure clearly stated that shifting funds is completely legal. And then to make matters worse, on the day that they're actually supposed to be voting on this at the city council, one of the council members, Johnny Camus, put out an op-ed in the San Jose Spotlight, and he had a letter to the editor in the Mercury News, and then he also sent out a newsletter. All of these things that were published or sent were spreading a lot of misinformation about me and other students and environmentalists who are advocating for this. You all have special interests even though no special interest groups have been involved in this at all. And this whole thing has been very grassroots. We're just ordinary people trying to create change. And then he went on to attack Supervisor Cortezzi for asking VTA to declare a climate emergency. And basically in all these things that he put out, he asked people to go to the VTA board meeting, which is on January 9th, and speak out against the Measure B reallocation and climate emergency. So this whole thing was really scary and stressful for me. Obviously, Supervisor Chavez is kind of the ringleader on the VTA board, but I've kind of been the external ringleader of this whole thing. So it was very stressful, but I got people organized and I got people to send in letters to the mayor and city council member asking them to delay the vote until after VTA had heard the item. We ended up getting a deferral thanks to the mayor, so they didn't actually vote on it. But even after we got that deferral on the 7th, I was still really worried that this council member, Johnny Camus, was gonna be able to turn out people on the 9th and get a bunch of people to oppose everything that we've been working so hard on. But when we actually got to the board meeting, not a single person showed up to oppose what we were trying to do. And it was so awesome and amazing and just so great to see so much positivity. And, and there's so many great speakers. I think there's about 10 high school students that showed up, which was really, really cool and awesome. The guy actually came up to me partway through the board meeting. He was in his mid-20s and he lived in the area. He said he found out about the board meeting from Councilmember Camus, but then he did his own research and he found out about me and the turnout for Better Transit coalition that I started. He actually came to support us and to speak in favor of the climate emergency and reallocation. So it was really awesome. No action has been taken on either items. They'll be voting on the climate emergency next month and they'll be discussing options for the Measure B reallocation next month as well. It's a really cool example of how someone tried to attack us and tried to attack the elected officials that have been helping us and all of his plans ended up completely backfiring. So we ended up putting out our own op-ed on the 10th. And I'll link our op-ed down below and Councilmember Camus's op-ed down below if you want to read them. Ours is a lot better and ours is a lot more based in fact, but that's just my opinion. You all can make up your own opinions. I think that's pretty much everything that I want to talk about in this video. I just really want to share the story I just think it's a really cool example of how we're able to out-organize a council member. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Stay awesome, and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.